Okay, serious question for you guys. What would you do if one day you woke up and your house had like no windows all of a sudden? And um, that that's it. That's that's all I got. The game is called The Windows Are Gone. Like, I don't know what that means. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here and welcome to a game called The Windows Are Gone. This is a new horror game that popped out to me. Oh my gosh, talk about ominousness. It's a brand new game over on Steam. It looks like it's got a unique premise. Here is the synopsis so we can get a bit of understanding about what this game even is. Wanted by grief and guilt after a tragic accident, you start seeing a house in your dreams. No matter what you do, you can't get its image out of your mind. You feel it calling for you, so you have to answer it. It is time we do another longer, less edited, which is exactly what this video here is gonna be. And if you guys enjoy this one, I think you know exactly what to do. All right, let's start this game up. The windows are gone is the name of this tile. I'm, I'm excited to see this, man. It's got very positive reviews, so it looks like it's gonna be another really good experience. In my dreams, I see this house. Where's the house, uh huh? You gotta give us some, uh, some context. There it is. Why is your house talking like that? What the heck's going on here? Nice, in the middle of like a, a wooded land forest. I feel, I feel it calling, calling for me. That's what you call a weird dream, but a house calling for you? Park. Maybe it's a house he knows, like, now he's on the road. Is he moving to this house? Like, maybe he knows all about it and he's like, okay, house has called me enough in my dreams. Let's see if it does it whilst I'm awake. Ever since the accident. Accident, and then we got house calling for him. All right, I'm, I'm not getting a clear picture, Chief. You're gonna have to give me more. There it is again. All right. Interesting little star here. What does it all mean? Like, we don't know. We already know we're gonna find out. Where did those windows go? Whatever I do, I can't stop thinking about this house in Mariana. Bro saw it online, he was like, yup, gotta buy it. I outbid everyone for this one. So he saw the house, then it was like reoccurring in his dream, and next thing you know, we're seeing a moving van. So I answered it, and answered it he did. Off he went. He had to get there. Ooh, this canted shot, man. I'm loving this so far. This is cinematic as heck. This is what I'm talking about. Something feels wrong. The windows are gone. Where did they go? Who took them, huh? Why did someone take them? How did someone take them? Why did they fill up the spots after they were gone? You know what I'm trying to say? And this, I think, is how we get it going. Hi, honey. How are you holding up? You know, I'm taking it one day at a time. How was the funeral? I wish I could have been there for you. I didn't go. I, I couldn't do it. I understand. She would have understood too. You know that, right? Right. And what about your new house? It's in Mariana, right? Quite a long way from home. Yeah, I'm on my way there right now, actually. I'll text you once I get there. All right, be careful on the road. Love you. We give it a cold shoulder, man. We give it a cold shoulder, and here we go. He arrived up, and this is our, uh, I guess, new place. Bro, my head, I spin quick, I'm paranoid. Look, ooh, look, you see that? That's a full spin right there. Look at this junk. Press tab to pick up your phone. There you go. From mom to you. All right, be careful on the road. I love you. Reply. We can reply with F. Let's do it. Hey, I just arrived at the house. I'll move the box inside and text you later. Okay, and I think that's about it for now. And this is what we pick up from here on. So we couldn't go to a funeral. Was it maybe our wife's funeral? I have no idea, guys. All I know is that uh, so far it, we're talking to our mom. This box has upstairs master bedroom written on it. We got a text coming through to, hey, I just arrived at the house. I'll move inside. Okay, we already saw that one. Got something else here. Hello, son. How are you holding up? Can we reply? Let's uh, hit with a reply. Should we do that? Thanks for letting me know. Careful not to hurt your back with the boxes. Yeah, we got it, man. Don't worry. You've always been the paranoid type. Okay, let, let's go ahead and take it then, right? Want to take the box? You don't want to take the box? What's going on right now? Hold up. Here we go. We take the boxes. So we're just moving in right now. We can press M for a map of the house. Uh, apparently, uh, we got to put this box down, though. There we go. We see it all. We got hallway, down bathroom, kitchen, downstairs bedroom, and then we got the office, and we can flip it to, on the flip side, we got the upstairs, master bedroom, and all the other good stuff. So that box said uh, master... Uh, was it upstairs? Was it this one? Here, hold up. Let's see. Master upstairs bedroom. So we take this one... And we move our boxes in. I mean, so far, it's all right. Look, it's kind of getting to gold now. You see that? It's kind of beautiful, to be honest. We are those boxes far away, though. Look at the reach we got. You see all this? Look, put that box down there if we can. There we go. Open this door. My new place. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get this thing. Look, they came. With, it came with the TV already. Love to see it. So we take it upstairs. That's all we do. And uh, we're just going to find that master bedroom and drop the box down there. And we'll sort the rest out later. You know what we're actually going to do? We're going to do this the smart way. We're going to bring all the boxes inside. We'll put the downstairs ones downstairs. And then we'll put the ones that are upstairs upstairs. Upstairs guest bedroom. So this one's also coming up with us too. It's a calm start. It's uh, also just kind of like straight to the point. We don't know why we had to 
get this house yet. Yeah, it was calling for us and all that good stuff, but like, why? What was the significance to this property? What did we see in it that everyone else didn't? Or maybe they just didn't as much as us, right? We were like obsessed with this place. At least it's kind of clean though, you see this? And uh, I see a brown toilet, so you don't see them stains on the way out, all right? I see you thinking, kind of smart. There's your kitchen, leads out to, I would assume, back area. Bro, this is actually beautiful. Look at this good stuff. We got this back here. That We're picking that weed layer up. And that's about it. Look, all gated off. We got the barbed wire fence too. So uh, any bears trying to break in, good luck. I'd call this place kind of cozy so far. It, it doesn't seem like, uh, you know, there's any neighbors nearby at all. This is literally, uh, you know, our own area. We could, bro, we could go on the nude on the front deck, enjoy a coffee. And I don't think a single person would ever even see us. Or if they did, I'd be like, get off my property. What are you doing out here? The freak was that? I mean, I gotta walk upstairs. It's probably just my feet, right? Probably just my feet. Was that door open before? Or maybe maybe it's just a corridor that goes down. Look, guys, I'm already thinking way too deep about this game. Yeah, the boxes, move them inside. Living room, let's go. I think the living room is like right to our left when we go through. So we're gonna throw this one down here for now. Let's just... Ah, man, scribbled that down. I think we called that one. Let's go ahead and take a look. Yep, that's it. So we're just placing the boxes down for now, and that's all we're trying to get done with this. Next box, upstairs, master bathroom. So we'll grab you. You're coming with me. It is a peaceful start. It is almost, uh, you know, a little too peaceful for my liking. Open, uh, things might just pick up a little bit down the line, and I ain't saying, like, horror stuff. I'm saying, like, you know, cool, calm stuff, but we have fun things on the agenda that we want to do, you know? Next box coming right up. This one is the downstairs office. I got you. If I had a downstairs office, I would put it over this side here. So let's see. Are we thinking I like it? This is actually my house. Take a look. Ooh. Ooh, no. No, 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 no. That's that bad. Ooh, no, thank you. We don't want that. Oh, this room is locked for some reason. I wonder if the key is around somewhere in the house. All right, we hear that one. And over here, let's see. Great minds think alike. Like, what can I say? Put that one on the table, just like that. Yes, sir, let's go. I swear I'm hearing noises as I'm doing this. I like, it's kind of weird. I'm almost half expecting to see someone standing at the top of those stairs. Look again and they're gone, you know? Okay, let's not get too scared right now. Upstairs main hallway. Let's, uh, let's do what we're trying to do. We're just moving into our property. Dude, piano chord jump scare. That nearly got me. It's so delicate. Look, it's oddly kind of nice to want to move in here. Why did we want to do this? We had it all set out from the get-go. We're going to set this one down, by the way, nice and neat. Right there. You know what? Let's let's do a little bit upstairs. Upstairs, master bedroom. We are looking, if we flip this thing over, we're looking, I think, just down this way. So if I'm going to grab you, you're coming with me, sir. Just down here, look at this. We've got the master room at the very end. We love to see it. Boom, open this up. Let's take a look. Okay, if I'm sleeping in the tub, then, uh, you know, that's unique. That's looking like a master bedroom. Let's uh, see if this one checks out. And... Oh, hold up. It didn't? Wait, what? Ah, no, this isn't it. This ain't it. Maybe it's gonna be over here. Or oh, it could be that one. Could be one of the two. Open this up. Okay, if I'm sleeping in there, then I got questions. Very tranquil. Very, very, like, uh, extremely tranquil. Okay, now this is more like it. This is a master bedroom. And that, uh, that bathroom is already open. You know, let's put this on the bedside table. There you go. We got that one. Check out this. Very orange. Hello? Anyone in there? Good. I'm glad no one responded. I'll be calling the cops otherwise. Upstairs guest bedroom. Yep, we already know where that one was. To uh, just the right over here. Put that one just on the floor, I think. As long as it's in the space, it's like the game is like, yeah, you're good right now. Upstairs master bathroom. That one is also in here. Place it down. Nice and orange. Love it. Last box. We got the upstairs guest bath. What the freak was that? Whoa, holy cr- Dude. Why am I scared about a person? Hold on. A tape also? What the heck? Uh, hey, ma'am. Are you good? I I'm just moving in. Hello there. You must be our new neighbor. Yes, I am. I, I suppose I am. Do you live nearby? Let's say like that. I do, yes. A couple of kilometers that way. She points to her right-hand side. My husband and I... She pauses for a few seconds. I live there. We say nothing, apparently. Welcome. Welcome. Mariana is a wonderful town. Lovely people. Can you tell me about it? You look familiar. Do I know you? Or we can continue. Let's, uh, you know, let's kind of be nice. Should, should we say that? She might get creeped out by that one. I'll say it anyway. Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe it's what they say. Small town and all. In any case, we know each other now, don't we? Um, let's, let's go ahead and say this one. Well, Mariana's a quiet little town, but it's full of beauty. Oh, yes. Make sure you visit the uh, uh, Aracuarias Park when you have a chance. Beautiful trees there. I think I nailed that. I see. Also, the people here are known for their friendliness. That being said, I hope you understand that we take pride in our traditions. Please don't embarrass us with your differences. Huh? What the freak does she mean by that? Let's continue. Can I help you with anything? Well, I couldn't help but notice that the house had been purchased and that the new owner would be here today. So I baked you something special as my welcome gift. Ooh, thank you. That's very kind of her. I think you're gonna love it. I left it on your kitchen counter. You got inside the house? Oh, don't worry, my dear. I know this house is inside and out. You 
No, this house? This house has a lot of history. It's a very unique one. In a way, I think you know it too. Every corner and every shadow seems familiar to you, doesn't it? In any case, you'll get familiar with it soon enough. Uh, all right then. Now, do me a favor, my dear, and try some of that pastry I made for you, will you? I'm sure you'll love it. Okay, just please stay here this time, all right? She's, uh, kind of an interesting character. We getting this? She nods and smiles. Leave conversation. All right, ma'am, you, uh, you stay there. Let me just close that door. She's still standing there, bro. She still should get the message. Why do I feel uncomfortable? I feel like somebody's gonna be opening a back door or something. It's a pastry. Mmm, delicious. A plate of grostoli made by the neighbor. I'm not sure if I should eat this, but the smell is irresistible, so it's good. How are we thinking? I mean, let's... Hey, we eat two of those things. Let's uh, return back to her. Okay, I tried it. Uh, thank... Thanks. What the heck is going on, bro? This is, uh... Very weird. Hang on a moment. She is nowhere to be seen. Huh. Now that is curious, right? That's very weird. She left what looks to be, uh, an envelope. This note just says, Welcome home. I assume it came from that lady, but where did she go? I don't know if I want to know. Is she in my house? She's in my house. I am actually going to start throwing hands. As I unloaded the boxes into my house, I couldn't help but be reminded of the toll the trip to Mariana had taken on me. That, combined with this odd encounter with the neighbor, made me realize I was exhausted. What do we want to do? I decided it'd be wise to take a quick nap in the master bedroom. Besides, I was curious to test the comfort of my new bed. All right, we see that one. Just as we was about to check the basement for her. Like, that's my paranoia level. I kind of want to, uh, you know, check all the rooms in my house. I, yo, this is weird. I don't, I don't feel alone. All right. Okay. Interesting encounter, but maybe it means nothing. Let's keep our thoughts still. For now, at least. Back door. It's quiet. Bro, I mean, we're supposed to take, like, a, a you know, a relaxing sleep. I kind of want to get all these boxes in. Like, we said we're tired, but I, I don't like the idea of uh, leaving these boxes outside anymore. Kind of... We can't bring them in. Look at that. Okay, close that door. Uh, let's inspect this. It's a tape. A VHS tape labeled Tape 1 My Family. I could probably take this to the VHS tape player and play it, but not yet. We're about that sleep. And we need to find a key as well for that extra room in our house that's locked. Like, what's in there? I'm not sure I'll get used to this bed, but it'll have to do for now. Let's uh, see how used to it we can get and how quick. Gotta be exhausting. Like, how far was that drive? We already read in the text. It was a long way away from home. How fast does he fall asleep? Like, I love it when it's like that, man. When you're so tired, you just fall asleep so quick. Are we falling asleep? There you go. Drifting on out, sir. Empty thoughts. Quiet that busy mind. Don't think about the lady. Don't think about anything else. This time, this time I, 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 didn't I didn't dream, dream about, about this house. house. What did you dream about? It sounds weird. It's so mysterious. Probably because, Probably because I, I, was I was finally, finally here. You got what you wanted. Already, it seems a bit interesting, this place. We kept seeing it in our mind. No. no, no. This, this time, time I, I had, had, a, had a different, different dream. dream. Weird how that can happen, right? You do the thing your mind wants you to do, then it quietens out. And you're not the one in control of those thoughts. It's the dream version of you bringing it to your attention. Whoa! Um, that's our wife? My wife and I were in a hurry to the hospital. She was clearly in a lot of pain. Yo, was she pregnant? Okay, let's uh, let's talk. I find myself in my car, quickly driving my wife to the hospital since her water had just broken. Uh, honey, are you gonna be okay? Yes, just avoid any bumpy roads, please. She gives me off a nervous laugh. Have you called your mother? Ah, uh, no, I forgot. Uh, can you call her once we get there, please? Yes, of course. Thank you, and please remember the highway is blocked. Now, please, hurry. I will. Hold on tight. All right, man, we got you, we got you. We can look at her again. It's the same message. What? Um, oh my god. What is going on? Jessica? They ain't Jessica no more. Uh, yo, this dream sucks. I'm ready to wake up. I am ready to wake up. What are we driving in a sea of red? Oh my, yeah, this is bad. I'd bail out. I'd bail out of this dream. No, thank you. What are we coming into? You see these lights up above? What the freak is it? It's just dripping. The same message too. What the? I thought something was going to be three millimeters from my nose staring at me, you know? That's that bad dream. That sucked. Why? We just got here. We dreamt of this place. Or oh, the dripping, you hear it? God, what a horrible nightmare. That dripping noise. I heard it while I was asleep. Where is it coming from? 
That's a good question, huh? In here? Oh, uh, dripping sound, you in there? You down here? There's that music again. That weird sting. Really weird sting. I'm also checking for that key, guys. I'm thinking, like, maybe we're gonna need that. Checking the bathroom. Is it in here? Doesn't... No, it's not in here. Okay, let's check around the house. That door is still sealed up. Good, we love to see that. Where is it coming from? It's downstairs. Is it in here? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Nah, bro. Nah, you know what? The leak stays, whatever. Hold up, maybe it's down here? My... It sounds more quiet than before. It sounded like it was uh, coming from over here somewhere. Is it the sink? You, we hear that? It's like over here somewhere. What the heck is going on? Maybe it's upstairs. Hold up, one more check up there. In here, the guest bathroom, right? Wait, this ain't the guest bath- this one here? Is it this one here? Dude, this dripping is freaking me out. How do I- Whoa! I got scared by a cabinet. Is it back here somewhere? This is so weird, dude. This dripping, it sounds like it's uh, almost like the reverse side. This is really confusing, actually. I'm gonna check around here whilst we got some time. I don't- I don't like this, though. I really don't like anything about this. Is it the basement, dude? We gotta come down here eventually, right? This is uh, when we do it. Tape number two, the accident. Wait. What? We got two tapes? That's... Oh, look, coming from above. Is that not the room with the door that's locked? Oh, great. There is a leak in the ceiling. I guess that's what I get for buying an old house. Hmm. I, I get a weird feeling about this, though. I can't quite explain it. Maybe it's the consistent noise? Maybe it's the water itself. I don't know. I just can't shake this odd feeling I have when thinking about it. But I'll see to it tomorrow. I just can't be bothered right now. I gotta go back to bed. You don't wanna watch these tapes that you're finding around the house, sir? You don't wanna do anything like that? I'd be kinda checking those things out. It's kinda weird. So back to sleep first. We don't wanna uh, do anything else in the house. All right, sir, no problem. You do you. You're the man in charge. And good luck sleeping with that dripping, though. It's uh, oddly loud. Like, it pierces the air in a weird way. So back to bed we go. This is what we're here for, right? Gonna have to get used to that dripping. Don't wanna fix it tonight, so. Just got a deal. Maybe it'll act as like a lull, you know? Like a metronome. As long as it's consistent, maybe we can focus on that thing. And it's gonna actually help us sleep. I mean, look, we're, we're falling asleep. Maybe I was right. No dream? We just, we woke back up. It was a clean sleep. Are we feeling energized? How are we feeling? It says grab again. Look, we could grab that. Positive sign. I think we're well rested. Or at least rested enough to uh, want to continue on with uh, moving the boxes. How long did we sleep for? I don't really know. It's still very bright outside. Now, phone's starting to buzz off. All right. Good morning, son. Your mom told me you arrived in Mariana yesterday. How's it going? So this is from dad. All right, let's uh, hit him up with a reply. Hey, dad. Well, you know. What, does he know? I don't know. No reply yet. All right, we uh, leave that one there. Of course, once the phone goes away. I know. I'm sorry. And how's the new house? Is it all you were hoping for? It's okay. I was bringing the boxes inside yesterday and got very tired. I'll get back to doing that right now, so we're just back at this thing. This is it then, okay? Upstairs guest bathroom. We made some good progress. Now we just continue on with the... Uh all of this good stuff, right? Not in that one. No, thank you. We put it down in this one. There we go. It's definitely old. Whoever owned this house before, they, uh... No, they didn't do any modern decorating for this thing. What is the year, anyway, that we're actually in? I don't really know. This uh, this might actually be set back a little bit in time. No tapes on these shelves. Okay, I see you. Let's... Uh, oh, you know, we're going to watch those tapes straight away. Just checking around for a key, which does not look to be anywhere in this house. And we're going to scoop this tape, right? We're going to uh, try and place this thing in the VHS. It's got to work. There you go. As the tape starts playing, I see a middle-aged man handling the camera. I quickly realize that the man is in the same house that I'm in. He's all smiles as he moves away from the camera and joins his family as they can be seen playing around in the backyard. I wonder if they're the previous owners of this house. His wife and children seem to be having a great time, laughing and running around. There's a moment where the wife comes up behind the husband and puts her arms around him. They both smile and briefly look at the camera. It's nice, really. I can't help but feel like there's something off, though. It's like there's an underlying tension, a sense of unease that's hard to describe. Maybe it's just me, but I get this feeling that things aren't as perfect as they seem on the surface. It feels like the happiness portrayed here is a deceptive lure tempting me to bite it and overwhelm me with its actual intentions. It's written on the man's face. It's like he's trying to hide something behind his smile. The tape ends when one of the kids trips and falls to the ground. While the mother tends to the crying boy, the father's disingenuous smile finally fades away as he approaches the camera to turn it off. Once he's right in front of the frame, though, I get an eerie feeling of intrusiveness, as if he caught me prying on his personal life. The tape then ends. 
It's a strange feeling, watching these recordings of someone else's life. I can't help but wonder what happened to them. Where are they now? Did they move away a long time ago? Are they still together? It's like I'm peeking into a world that's not mine. A world that's both familiar and foreign at the same time. Dang, dude, this, uh, this guy needs to start writing some kind of, you know, poetry or something. This dude's a good writer. I'm liking this. And we saw tape number two down here. Yeah, alright, dad, I'll be there in a second. Hold up. Tape number two, throw it in. I ain't messing around with this one. The tape shows that man, who I assume was the previous owner of this house, working in the basement with the camera sitting on a counter and pointing at him. This one's called The Accident, by the way. He seems to be alone in the house, although I can just about hear his children playing in the backyard. The tape is slightly damaged, but I can make out most of what's happening. For a few seconds, he just stays there in silence, as if anxiously rehearsing his first words to the camera. When he finally starts speaking, I'm suddenly caught by a sense of uneasiness, and I shiver slightly. The man also seems uneasy and disturbed. His words, measured and hesitant, give off a sense that he's trying to describe a feeling that he cannot fully comprehend, but that has taken over him. He speaks of a sense of impending disaster, of a terrible event he thinks is about to occur to his family. He is less and less coherent until he's taken by his own emotions and accidentally drops the tool he was using on the background, or the ground itself. He starts crying, carefully covering his mouth so that no one notices him. He mentions the terrible event will be his fault. Watching him, I can't help but feel that his words are directed at me somehow. It's as if he knows that I'm here watching this and is trying to communicate with me. The way he talks about the event is as if they had already happened. But then, why is he doing this? Why isn't he doing anything to prevent it from happening? And what's the point of these tapes? That's very obscure. That's, uh... Debatably the strangest tape so far. What it means, I have no idea. Get theorizing, guys. You're free to, uh, you know, let me know down below. Okay, so this dripping. Are we going to take care of this now or are we going to just inspect it again? It seems to have gone a bit worse overnight. I'll definitely have to call someone to see this later. Man, this constant noise will make me go insane. Okay, that's all we say about that. We're gonna have to get that one taken care of. And again, it's in the one room we have no access to. So, yeah, I, yeah I'm assuming, like, we need someone to break this door down, like, off the hinges. All right, back to the box duty. Back to it. Is this the same note? Let me just take a look at this thing. Yep. Is it? Wait, hold up. It says, welcome home. You see that? Huh. Interesting. It's like we've already been here, but I didn't know I ain't. Right? Downstairs. I think I said downstairs bathroom. I'm just rushing right now, guys. I'm scared to leave anything too long. Let's take a look. I believe this is our downstairs bathroom. So uh, that's what we got to do. There you go. Scribble that one down. Back on our way. Upstairs storage. We've seen that one many a times. Is there a way we can speed run this? Like, I'm thinking we place this down. Jump around the other side. Let's try this thing. Go. Look, we put that there. Walk around the side. Okay, no, this... No, definitely not. This is the slow method. But throw it down. We have one single box left, guys. And we are done moving in. And it's just time to... Uh, Unpack all the boxes and then try and get settled in. Though, it don't feel right, still. Now, the house is beautiful on the outside, but there's something about it. The way the neighbors speak about knowing this thing, this place, doesn't sit right with me. It doesn't bode well for the future of what might go down. Let me place this thing. Just, let's go. Uh, how about we do on the... Wait, there's another tape. We see that? That's kind of strange. Okay, where are we trying to place this? Look, we're very specific. Got to be only, only on the floor, apparently. So tape number three, let's... Uh, oh, no, we can't see that. As I was bringing in the boxes, I couldn't help but repeatedly ask myself what I was actually doing here. I acted on impulse when I bought this house, but the vivid and recurrent dreams I had after the accident plagued my mind and kept haunting me until I finally gave in. It's like I didn't have a choice. Maybe it's the desperation to start fresh or the need to escape the memories of that dreadful night. But here I was, in this unfamiliar place with no one but myself. For a moment, I questioned my sanity. So I took a deep breath, letting the musty smell of the old house fill my lungs and with a sense of determination i whispered to myself i'm here now and i have to make the most of it oh uh, yeah i mean you're tr that's true man still i felt like i needed to turn this into my new house so i set out to unpack all the boxes and decorate the place all right we've got this tape here too this one is labeled rumble pretty sure this wasn't here yesterday yeah we'll uh we'll open those boxes and decorate to our liking real soon let's uh see what this is all about put that there close what the freak was that Bro, am I actually alone? It's like the house itself is living, you know? I'm, okay, I think I'm freaking myself out here. Tape goes in. So this wasn't here yesterday, we say. As the tape starts playing, the scene before me is disorienting and extremely unsettling. The man from the previous tape stands in a place impossible to identify. He appears to hover in darkness, surrounded by countless long red streaks that stretch as far as the eye can see, like veins that mysteriously emerge from above and just as inexplicably disappear beneath him. What is this writing? Oddly enough, 
I can feel them pulsating beyond the TV screen and onto my chest, suffocating me with the same feelings the man appears to be experiencing. In that crushing darkness, I inexplicably feel the man's despair, guilt and regret, yet I cannot bring myself to stop the tape and I just keep watching it. The camera shakes and glitches, and at times seems to be a part of the man's body somehow. His demeanor terrifies me. His words are fragmented, barely forming coherent sentences. In the brief moments that I see his face, there's a deep ache in his eyes, as if he carries an overwhelming burden on his shoulders. He stammers, feelings of regret, and calls for his family, but he's all alone in that place. I feel like his family is no longer reachable, and he blames himself for it. It's a haunting sight, and I can feel his pain seeping through the screen, echoing within my own being, as if we somehow shared a consciousness. In the midst of his own turmoil, his mouth opens wide, ready to unleash his agonies, but before he can do so, the tape abruptly ends. I feel broken by the intensity of what I've just witnessed, and almost feel ashamed to look at my own reflection on the screen, and yet I still feel like this is what I needed somehow. What? Bro, this is getting weird. Let's, uh, get back to this good stuff, right? Let's just start decorating this house, okay? Empty thoughts, happy place. Gonna be mine, I'm gonna love it. Jukebox, uh, okay, all right. Uh, we do it in the darkness, guys. We, you think we need music for this? We do not. We need no sound. Where do we want to put the vase? Like, on the floor? We're we thinking, like, rustic? You're, like, on the floor. You know what? That's good. It's out of the way. It looks nice. Uh, I want the fan. Let's see. You know what? This will be sick. Picture frame. Is that me and my wife, though? Let's go. We can't put it there. What are we thinking, man? Like, oh, come on, man. This would be sick. I don't want to enclose it, though. That's the thing. Like, oh, on a, on a nice shelf. There you go. I saw it. There's a small... There's a pixel, bro. Ooh. Yes. There you go. We can inspect it, too. I remember this trick from Sao Paulo. It was honestly a mess, and a lot of things went wrong. But in the end, we still had fun. Afterwards, Jessica wouldn't stop making fun of me for forgetting my documents at home. Yep, that's uh, close yikes right there. DVD player. Can we put this on top, though? Or is it going to be like, nope, you got to put it underneath. Looks like it. We put this here. Oh, we haven't been checking our phone, to be fair. Got so distracted just decorating. Everything good? That was from mom. Hey, wait, okay, we got brother-in-law too. Hey, man, how are you doing? Let's, uh, let's reply to the brother-in-law, right? Hey, a bit overwhelmed, honestly. Gotta be honest, I mean, we've, uh, we've done the whole move thing. This is the second day. When did we last eat, right? When's the last time we ate food? Uh, whilst well, we're thinking we got some books, we could probably put those. I think that's gonna be nice there, right? Get some books. We're not feeling it? Look, it's like, it's, it's telling us we can't do that. I mean, uh... Nope. That's just gonna fall over, sir. That's just gonna fall over. Are you thinking, like, on the side here? All right, good. I was gonna say, that ain't gonna work out. I wish we could put stuff at the top as well, man. That kind of sucks, but you know what? It's absolutely fine. Let's just put these books. We'll leave them there, all right? That, that's a placeholder. We'll figure that thing out later. Brother-in-law replied, Yes, yeah, same here. She was an incredible person. M my sister loved you, man. I know, and she hated your gut. Ha ha ha! All right. Cutting it deep with the brother-in-law. Come on right now. That's not very nice. Let's uh, check in this one. Yep, we got all the necessities. This looks like uh, gonna be the dirty clothes. That goes down there. This is really interesting how much it kind of lets you live this world too, right? Pills go there. We could probably open that and actually store that inside. Grab that. Place that. We all, yep, there you go. We can inspect that too. I started taking these pills after the accident. They don't do much, but my doctor told me to keep taking them. Haha, <laughs> oh yeah, I know. But seriously, it, it wasn't your fault, man. Remember that. Right. So we still feel there's a level of guilt that we're obviously feeling in terms of uh, the accident that went down, right? It's uh, like we feel a, a level of responsibility for all of that stuff. Let's uh, see what else we got in here. We got, that looks like, uh, you know, classic utensils. Now we leave that on the side, okay? We brush our teeth twice a day. Shower railing, that can go right there. I, I actually like how uh, personal you can make all this. The bath mat, like, we know where that goes, right down here. There we go, and I think that might be uh, one last thing. Look at that lotion flask. Are we gonna put that thing Nice and tidily out of the way. There you go. We got another reply. It just says, take care. That's from the brother-in-law. You want to reply? I don't want to say you two. I guess we're just still uh, so guilt-struck by everything that went down. Just must have been horrific. Okay, let's let's just keep our minds straight. Keep, try and keep our mind at, like, ease. Let's try not focus too much on uh, those type of disasters. It does suck. Let's bring the box closer to... Got that toaster. Let's lay that one. Should we go for the corner? I'm thinking, like, we go corner right here. Yeah, but the clicker's on the side, so, like, maybe here... Like, we, we don't want to block the clicker, so we can actually push down the toast and stuff. Get the kettle now. That is probably... Oh, where does it go? Let, let's go right here. There is a level of fun to this. A clay... What? what is this? Hold up. A clay filter? Am I just, like, uneducated? I don't know what this is. We, we put that there? What the freak am I? I don't know. No idea what the heck that thing is. Perfect spot for the calendar right there. Take that fruit bowl. Oh, I, I think that fruit bowl, man, has got to go there. Oh, no, it's got to go on the table, right? Right in the middle, right there. Complete with all the fresh fruit. It stayed fresh through the trip. Like, we don't know how, man. It just does that, right? That's just how it be working. Hang on. We can't open those, so these plates, they got to be on show. Just on the corner right there. Look, I walk in the kitchen. I can just sweep one of those things. Oh, nah, man. The his and hers cup. Ain't that sweet, though? Okay, we'll leave that next to that right there. Uh, hello? Why don't I want to answer the door? Bro, I'm scared. Let me check the back. Hold on. I was almost convinced we was going to see something right there. Um, 
Who is it? It's no one's home. This is a pre-recorded voice message and it's, uh, yeah, I know it's weird. Let's just take a peek. Oh my gosh. What the heck? What was that? Yo, what the freak? Um. I, whoa. Bro, what the freak is going on? Yo, what is happening? This is actually creeping me out now. Is it upstairs? Hold up. I think it might be. Hang on a moment. Let me check. It ain't in here, is it? Hold up. Let me check. Bathroom? What is that? Hold up. What the freak was that sound? It's like a burst of energy. Something bursting out. Basement? It can't be. It's like, is it the window or something? What's going on? Bro, I don't know what this sound is. This is loud. This way? Like, is it this way? That's still locked up my office? Yo, I don't know what the heck's going on. It's the TV. Listen to static. The TV turned itself on and I can just about make out a sound over the static. We can hear that. Is that someone crying? Bro, this is actually scaring me a lot. This is so freaking weird, bro. Oh my God, I don't want to move, man. I got a bad feeling about this. And I don't think this is just, uh, you know, myself lying to me. Wait, what? Hold on, what? Wait, what? A box? I'm certain I didn't bring this box with me. I have no idea how it got here. Baby clothes? Oh, don't haunt me like this. What is all of this? Paintings? Do we decorate this room with it? Is that what it's for? Open it up. Baby clothes. This is strange, bro. It's like gifts for if the baby came through. A baby photo album I bought and was going to give Jessica. The pages inside are starting to run. I thought I'd gotten rid of these. How did they, wait, how did they get here though? If I was supposed to get rid of them, let's uh, dress this room up. The room that maybe would have been uh, for me and my child. Look at this painting, what is that? This was Jessica's last painting. She had been feeling uninspired for a while before making this and was determined to never paint again, which is a shame because I was quite fond of the result. I don't know what that painting means, bro. I, I, I don't know. We got another painting here. So she was an artist, quite the artist. This was Jessica's first painting as an art student. She could explain this meaning to me a thousand times and I still would never be able to fully grasp it. But I still quite like how it looks. Maybe we should uh, grab this thing. Maybe this should come through to the office then, right? Hang it proudly just behind the desk. Maybe that's what we should do. Maybe we shouldn't. What should we do? Like, what the heck is going on, bro? This whole game just feels strange now that there. I'm not sure when Jessica painted this. I'm not even sure I've seen it before. Perhaps it's one of the many paintings she ended up hiding from everyone because she was ashamed of how it- Dude, it looks great. It looks so unique. I love it. Over here, insurance p Okay. Hey, this is Franco from Auto Insurance. I must inform you that your car has been declared a total loss. Hello. All right. What? Now? Wait, my van? My- v Are you talking about my van? Oh, no, what the heck? Uh, nah, so my van's got what you're talking about. But he's trying to pull the wall over my eyes straight up. This house is creaking a lot, by the way. We're gonna, uh, you know, in between this, we're gonna get stuff done what we need to, okay? Everything we need in our desk to uh, get our work done, you know, work from home, all that good stuff, la 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 la. Man, the air feels horrible. What was that noise? I think it came from the bro, the basement. <sighs> this game has struck a nerve with me so much. I, I, it's very, like, detailed with the text. Does the ceiling look weird? Hey, whoever's down there, let's stop this right now. What the heck? Huh? What is that? Oh my gosh, what is happening here? Th this is terrible. This thing is quickly deteriorating the ceiling. I feel like I have to do something or it will collapse soon, but I can barely look at this thing. It's making me lightheaded and nauseous. It's frustrating though. I know I need to take care of it, but I feel so repulsed that all I can do is ignore it. God, I hate looking at it. Is it moving? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's physically... Yo, that mass has a conscious. It moves, it breathes. What do we do? Do we climb back out of here? It's like it's straight back to still. And that's all we got. Any more text coming through? We got one more here, okay. We are currently investigating the details of the accident to determine the liability of the parties involved. Wait, what? 98483. Who's this? Yeah, who who is that? I'm gonna keep dressing my desk up whilst that way. Let's keep some element of normality to this whole situation. Though it's, uh, it's starting to get difficult, I ain't gonna lie. Like, all of this that's happening is slowly- Bro, it, it's just not normal. Why would we be seeing this house in our dreams so much? Like, 
For what purpose does uh, any of this serve for us now? It's just a disaster, it almost feels like. We take the phone, last of all. We need this on our desk, though, right? We gotta take those calls quick time. We're gonna have to do it. Rotate that guy. All right, and there you go. There's our office space done. We are uh, all good to go. Why am I picking up everything? Hey, office done, close that door. Yo, what the heck is going on? No reply from this number? Like, nothing at all? This is- Oh, it's so weird! It's like building, but to what? Like, that's what I'm feeling like. It's just- It just builds and builds. Hold up, let's uh, put this over here. Let's just keep going. Fa Dude, this is not right. This is scary, man. Desk fan? Sure, sure. We'll find a better place for that when I get more tables and chairs and comfy stuff. And, uh, nice pillow. Yes, that looks so good. Let's do this thing. Another pillow. Ooh, I love decorating my house with creepy music. It makes me feel so comfortable and, uh, definitely not scared. A vase. Let's just... Where are we putting the vase? What are we thinking, huh? What are we thinking? Down here? Down here? We're just, uh, we don't look at that vase. Hey, what is actually happening in this house, bro? Like... Wait, my door! What? My door is gone! Wait, 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 hang on! What the freak is going on? Hold on, let me check. The windows that dis- Wait, what? Hold up. My office! It's like, it's deter- Hold up, if I close this door, the place is like dematerializing. Look at- Wait, what's going on? This is so weird! This is so freak- Oh my gosh! Hey! Hey! Look from the outside too, it's all changing. Hey, I'm running for the streets, I'm done with this. Nope, not today, no thank you. Can we leave? No way. No! We're too determined. Why? How has our character not taken, like, notice of this happening? Oh man, I'm so scared, bro. I know what's gonna happen, that door is gonna close on me and I ain't getting back out. This might be the last time we ever close that door. I am serious right now. The other windows have disappeared down here. I go upstairs, whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's grab that box, throw it down there. It's, this is uncomfortable as freak, bro. We want good memories. We want, uh, yep, we want that. That's nice. Right there, short thing. Look, we'll decorate properly later, all right, guys? We are just trying to make this place look at least somewhat decent. Great, looks good, looks good. What else we got in there, huh? What else have we got? That's like a smash picture. We seeing that? Or maybe it's like a street corner. I'm not too sure. Looks nice right there. We got to decorate the other side. Wait, 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 wait. Bro, what the freak is that? Knocking. Knocking. It's, it's like glass. Where's it coming from? Yeah. Yo, oh, what the freak is going on? This is so weird. It's downstairs. That's downstairs. Why? My freaking doors. I am sealed in this tomb. Hold up. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it down here? Here, here, here. Hold up. It's here. It's right here, bro. Whoa! Hey! What the? Whoa! What? Something locked this door. It's okay. I can't avoid this. It's just consu- what is it? Can I- uh, please may I pass? Please, please may I pass? Can I pass? You are in my way, you are obstructing my view. I can't move, it's just consuming me and everything else nearby. I don't know what it is, bro. I don't know what this is. All my windows, everything disappeared. I didn't even get to set dress my house fully. Dude, we're just gone. We are so gone, look. I can't, I can't- I couldn't move. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, hold up. I can walk? Wait, this is what the dude saw. The veins all around him. Is that him? Hey, sir. Are you good? Previous owner of the house, right? Yeah, I'm the new owner. Uh, you mind telling me what's going on, please? Are we gaining on him? Hold on, hold on, look away. I think maybe we're gaining. I, I don't know. Yo, I have no idea. Look away, look back. He's getting closer, or, uh, he's getting bigger, I don't know what it is. Look away again, look back. It's when we look away, look at that. There you go, we're up on you. What am I seeing? What is this? I don't know what we're seeing, bro. I don't know what I'm seeing. What is this moving? I don't understand. He's looking, that was the back of your head? What was that? Uh, hey, bro. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of stuck in this world too now. You mind helping your friend out? No, I'll help you get out. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours! Hang on. 
we shouldn't have came here. Why was this so alluring to us? Why did it bring us here? Oh my, wait, wait my house is upside down! My life is literally flipped on its head. Look at this. What does it all mean? We have no flashlight. I mean, hey, my kitchen's good though. Hey, let's go, hey. Kinda? Like elements of it are fine, and then other, they're just not. What is happening? Okay, so how am I supposed to shower in this wall? Does water go the other way? You know, like, I don't even know, bro. And that looks so ominous, all of this. Every inch of this place is just, it's all bad. And that's still locked. Check my office, maybe? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're in the basement. Is it this? I can't fathom what I'm seeing. There's an extremely repulsive slime forming on the leak in the ceiling. It gives off a horrible stench that makes me nauseous. Lightheaded and disorientated. It looks alive. Could this be making us see this? Right? Could it be making us see? Whoa! <laughs> hey, I'm going upstairs, bro. Just joking. I have no upstairs. No, I, I have a... Hold up. Let's inspect. It's labeled birth. Yo, why? Look at her, she's just in the corner like that. You good, wife? You good, Jessica? I mean, how you doing that? That's kind of sick, though. Maybe she's scared. Maybe to her, like, I'm the one walking on the ceiling, right? To her, maybe this is all normal. This is labeled birth. Let's, uh, take a look at it, right? As the tape starts playing, I find myself instantly immersed in a nightmarish, disoriented reflection or distorted reflection of the man's tortured psyche. The scene is a collection of fragmented images, disjointed sounds and memories, and deeply unsettling feelings, somehow merged and played all at once. It's an incoherent mess. I can barely make out what I'm seeing. It finds me to my core, and at the same time, it's sort of beautiful and makes sense to me. The man's face and body are completely distorted beyond recognition. If I ever knew who he was before, I can no longer and never will again. But at this moment, I feel an overwhelming surge of empathy for him, as if his pain reverberates within my own body. The tape becomes a conduit for his suffering, a mirror reflecting my own battle along with his. The fragments of his voice reaching my ears like shards of broken glass speak of a foreshadowed catastrophe that has shattered his world just like mine. I'm in the midst of chaos. There's a moment of eerie stillness. The man's eyes meet mine through the flickering and glitchy screen, a fleeting recognition that sends a chill down my spine. He's now fully aware of my presence, and his torment reaches beyond the confines of the tape. How? And then, in a crescendo of madness and despair, the tape abruptly cuts off. The abrupt ending leaves me gasping for breath, my heart pounding in my chest. The darkness lingers, echoing with unanswered questions and haunting whispers. It's haunting and inviting all at once. I am left grappling with the fragments of his shattered existence, piecing together the shards of his unraveling mind. That man is gone forever now. The tape now has become a portal into the darkest recesses of our consciousness, forcing us to confront the demons that lurk within. That good for you, uh, Jessica? If that's your name? Is it Jessica? Okay! Do you see you around? We, we, we going back this way? It's like... Wait, I was about to say this is our appealing point, but now I'm not so sure. What is this? These paintings seem to have, hold up. They've been painted by Jessica, but I've never seen them before. Darkened hallway type thing, we've got. Whoa, what the freak was that? Shut up with your wob wob. These paintings seem to have been painted by Jessica again. So I think it's the same message, but we're just observing these for the first time ever. Whoa! What the freak, what is this? I can barely see it. It's the same sentence every time. Every single time. Let's check around this corner. Is there another one? It's like a solo person, a silhouette. Stormy night. I don't know, the storm raging on, and we have this door here. Let's open it, man. Is it forming? I can't fathom what I'm seeing. There's an extremely repulsive slime. I think this is the same as before. Is that gonna be like our child? Because we can hear it's crying. I can it sounds like it's teary-eyed. You know? Yo, I'm starting to think that's what's going on. There's nothing else here. Oh, we can't even repeat this time. Let's go to our kitchen. I don't think I want to say hi. I think I'm going to go back away from my kitchen. But what else can we do, right, guys? Let's go. Hey, bud, you good? Let's check out that face. Is it Jessica? Look, we can see her. It's Jessica. I think- Is that Jessica? Are you Jessica? She seems to be distracted by something right in front of me. Honey? Did you see the latest paintings I made? Each took an eternity to finish, but I think they turned out perfect. I did? Why did you make them? I don't really know. I just had to. I felt- I was thinking of you and our baby Laura, you know? That's why they look so wonderful. Jessica? Do you remember that question I asked you? What does God look like? Yes. What does God look like? Huh. It's funny that you were never religious, but you've always tried to help me understand why you could never truly see him. And I really appreciate that, you know? Honey, I'm sorry for what happened. It really was my fault. Um... 
I don't know. Do we take the blame? Let's say I'm sorry for what happened. But I see him now. She smiles. I see him and he's beautiful. Do you see him? Hey, bro, what the freak? You, try, you trying to cheat on me? Though? I'm sorry, but I don't. Well, we can say yes, I see him too. Um, she said that, you know, we were trying to be open. Maybe we have seen him downstairs. Wonderful, isn't it? So powerful and astounding and devastating. I feel like tearing my face off, but in the most wonderful way. I've been trying to forgive myself. Don't know if I can let you go. Oh, don't worry about me anymore. We have our baby to care for now, silly. Do you hear that? She's crying, the poor thing. I should go check on our little girl. She's probably hungry. Leave conversation, and yet you sit there, and you don't check on- Wait, can we see the shadow? Is it like a distorted mess? Look at that. I think that's supposed to be her. But maybe the shadow isn't quite her also. What we can do is leave the conversation and go back. We can't talk to her again. She's absent. So, it's gonna be down here, isn't it? Here we go. Whoa! Look at you, honey. See? I told your father. You're hungry, aren't you? Don't worry. Laura, mommy will feed you. Oh, hello, darling. You've been away for a while. We've barely seen you recently. Come to think of it. Where have you been? Don't you miss us? It's so lonely and empty here. And Laura doesn't stop crying for her dad. Honey, I think it's time I let you go. Is it like an attachment? This is what we can't let go of? We moved here to try and let go of the past and move on, but... Oh gosh, I don't know. Of course I miss you. Then I have a wonderful idea. Why don't you join us? Oh, Laura misses you so much, and she's so hungry all the time. I really want to satiate her hunger, but I can't see her suffering like this. Okay, so I feel like this is gonna be an ending right now. Like, we either choose to be with her, or we kind of, you know, separate from the traumatic stuff that happened in the past to move on. I don't know what we should do, because like, obviously we feel like we should do this, but maybe this is reality, like, maybe this is the real thing we should do. I can't join you, I'm so sorry. I see. Oh, she's so hungry, look at her. I'll go ahead and feed her now then. Pity you can't join us, she really needs her daddy. And we leave the conversation like that. I think that might have been the best thing to do, perhaps? The door is locked. Oh my! Um... I'm glad I didn't join you. You just fed yourself to our baby. Nah, I, nah, bro. Is there anything else we can do? The door is locked. Wait, wait, wait. There must be something else we can do. Why is my cursor now here? What's happening? We're fading out. I didn't join my family. I didn't do that. I don't know if that meant like giving up everything. Wait, it says open. Hold up. There's the puddle. The leak seems to have stopped. Ha. Huh. And we're back. We're back in the house. Hang on, look at this. It's as it was before. I can open the door. I can leave the house. I'm leaving the house. I'm I'm leaving the property. I I no longer am attached to this. That is so interesting. Ever since the accident. Lay it on us. Lay it on us. Let's take a listen to this. Lots of time in between the speaking, right? Oh, look, it's how I designed the house. Hey, let's go. Guilt, guilt has haunted me. Was it the guilt? That, was there a car accident or something? Was that what happened? We had, like, insurance stuff saying, you know, like, the accident, we, they can't help us. Maybe our wife passed away. Uh, maybe the guilt of the baby, too. Going with. So, so I, built I built a labyrinth. A house with no windows. There was, like, no escape. Like, this was everything just kind of, like coming to head for us. That's what I'm getting, at least. Anyway, there's the house. And found my way out because we chose to move on. We had the choice to not move on, but I thought that might be the worst ending. But maybe that, maybe this is the worst ending. I don't know. Woo! That was good. That was good. The whole way through was like carrying you. It was almost like holding your hand and directing you on this really nicely crafted adventure. And that was cool though. I liked it. I liked it. I could see lots of inspiration from like Silent Hill for this one. I could feel uh, other things. There you go. You got the good ending. We found four out of five of them secrets too. No idea what that fifth one would have been, but uh, we were diligent enough to uh, figure out towards the end that that was uh, what we had to do. We had to let go. We had to let go, rather than let the guilt consume us and, uh, you know, with us being shut in that house. I dread to think what the bad ending would actually do for our character. Maybe he could never truly, uh, you know, get over everything. There you go! Look, the background- is this changed up? I don't remember if the, uh, the background looked like this last time. 
I don't know, bro. Either way, that was a journey. A journey I'm glad I went on. I'm glad I played this game. I really hope you guys did enjoy this one. This was a very special little indie game. This was really cool. This was the Windows I gone. Really enjoyed this one thoroughly. Great sound design, great ambience. Just uh, kind of carried me through from beginning to end with this adventure. And I was very, very in the zone the entire time, which is always great when it comes to games like this. So that's how you know a game really has a good story and uh, it has good direction and like sound design to keep you in the zone throughout it all. If you guys want to play the Windows I gone, it is linked down below in the description. You can maybe go for that bad ending or maybe this like another secret ending if you find five out of five secrets but either way that was my playthrough of this game and i really hope you guys did enjoy if you did why not drop that like rating and hey if you're new around here why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here so thanks so much for watching this video guys of course if you did enjoy i'm not gonna lie man as scary as that game was i'm kind of sad i didn't finish set dressing the upstairs of my house though